before we go into region A of operation, which is nothing but my cutoff region, we know that without any external voltage also, there is some overlap of gate with the source and some overlap of gate with the drain. So let's find CGS overlap capacitance, which are independent of any external voltage. And let's also find out CGD overlap capacitance. It's nothing but COX oxide capacitance into the length and the width. Let's see what is the length and the width of my diffusion. So this is nothing but my overlap, right? So the length is only LD, whereas the width is W. So this gives me CGS overlap. Similarly, CGD overlap is nothing but oxide capacitance into length, which is LD into W. Remember this both are voltage independent capacitance. No external voltage is present, but still this will be there because of the overlap where COX is nothing but permittivity of the oxide upon the thickness oxide. Keep this in mind. So now we start with region A, which is the cutoff region. In the cutoff region, we know that no channel is formed. So because there is no channel formed, by definition, CGS is nothing but gate to channel seen. What is the definition we have seen? It's nothing but the gate to channel capacitance seen between the gate and source, but there is no gate to channel capacitance only, correct? Because there is no channel. So CGS is zero. CGD again would be zero. CGB would be present. CGB, because there's no channel, so whatever is the capacitance of the SiO2 is between the gate and the substrate, so CGB is present, which is nothing but COX. What is the width of my channel? W. What is the length of my channel? L. So in cutoff region, because there is no channel formed, source and drain don't see any capacitance, so that values are zero, whereas the capacitance SiO2 is present between the gate and the substrate, which is given by COX oxide capacitance into the width of my channel and the length of my channel. So I got my capacitance in the cutoff region. Let's go ahead. Let's see what will be my capacitance in the linear region. Linear region. In linear region, a channel is formed. Technically, this is like this. A complete channel is formed. Correct? So this is all shaded. It's not saturation, it's linear. So a uniform channel is present. Correct? And when there is a uniform channel present, we understand that this channel isolates the substrate from the gate or it shields the substrate from the gate. So now there is no gate to body capacitance because of the channel. The channel is terminating, isolating or shielding your gate from the substrate. So CGB is zero. Now CGS and CGD by definition is nothing but gate to channel capacitance seen between the gate and the source terminal. So technically we can presume that the capacitance now initially which was present it's getting divided between CGS and CGD because the uniform channel is present. So the capacitance which was present earlier say COX W by L W into L is now half of it goes to the source and half of it goes to the drain because the capacitance is divided between the gate to source and the gate to drain. So this is nothing but COX W by L because a uniform channel is formed. Half COX W by L. This is approximate mind you. Correct? So this gives me my capacitance in the linear region. Let's go ahead and see the capacitance in the saturation region. In saturation region, we know that the channel has pinched off. So again, the channel was present and it got pinched off. So this channel had shielded the gate and the body or the gate and the substrate. So still CGB is equal to zero. Remember now there is no connection of channel with the drain. So from the drain and the, between the gate and the drain terminal, I don't see a channel which is connected or no capacitance is present. So CGD is also equal to zero. So the only capacitance which will be present in saturation region would be approximately CGS, which would be approximately nothing but if you see, this is nothing but a trapezoidal shape. And if we do some derivation, we'll come to know that this is nothing but the value of the capacitance is two by three COX W by L. Simulations and derivations are beyond the scope. So you'll have to remember that this trapezoidal shape channel has a capacitance of two by three COX W into L which is nothing but CGS because that is what you are seeing, the gate to channel capacitance between the gate and the source terminal. So with that, I got all my capacitance 